Well, nothing says Idaho like the Idaho spud, but we're not talking about the potato. We're talking about the candy bar. The iconic candy made to look like a potato is shipped to customers around the world. And in tonight's Idaho life, an inside look at what makes the Idaho spud so famous. In the heart of downtown Boise, in the middle of the hustle and bustle, is a different sort of hustle and bustle, the making of 30,000 Idaho spuds. The iconic homemade confection that put the Idaho in candy. The Idaho spuds the candy bar that makes Idaho famous. The Idaho Candy Company has been cranking out Idaho spuds since 1913. The whipped cocoa flavored marshmallow center covered in dark chocolate and sprinkled with coconut is by far their best seller. The Idaho spud, you know, by, by far. Yeah, we do a couple million Idaho spud bars a year. So today we'll make 30,000 we do about 30,000 a day when we're making Idaho spud bars. Sure, it tastes good, but there's more to this candy bar than its ingredients. It's the nostalgia. Idaho Candy Company's been making candy in this same warehouse on 8th Street since 1909, long before there were national candy companies. But we made almost all the candy for the area. And so when you go into a store, you would see all the candy bars. Well, they would all be Idaho candy candy bars, and then you'd maybe have a Hershey milk and a Mars bar and a Wrigley's gum, but everything else would be Idaho candy products. It was just a different time. Believe it or not, not much has changed. Some new machinery in the warehouse, but the recipe itself has stood the test of time. Well, we are an old nostalgic candy company, and sometimes what I do best is I sell old stuff. And did we mention the chocolate? 1,200 pounds of chocolate in one day. You can see the candy bars they go through. They go on a stainless steel wire belt. They actually go through a curtain of chocolate and that coats the top and the sides, but there's also chocolate, a wave that pushes up from the bottom and so it coats the bottom at the same time. Then comes the coconut. They'll go through 10,000 pounds of coconut in a week. So you see a waterfall of coconut coming down. That gets the top and the sides of the candy bar and then it gets the bottom because the chocolate adheres to the bottom of it. The Idaho spuds then travel through a 60 foot cooling tunnel to give the chocolate time to set. By the time it gets to the other side, workers package them up. The wrapping machine can wrap anywhere from 80 to 100 bars a minute. What we sell, in some ways I sell, we sell stories. So we connect people back to Idaho, we connect people back to their roots, we connect people to Boise in this funny, quirky way, like where else can you get a candy bar that's named after a potato? Only in Idaho. Only in Idaho and happy Idaho Day, by the way, too. David Wagers and his family bought Idaho Candy Company back in 1984. T.O. Smith, a journeyman candy maker, first opened it in 1901, and it's only had a handful of owners over the years. Today, they send out the spud bars to 12 states and around the world with, of course, the Internet orders. But you can always just stop by the store on 8th Street in downtown Boise for a free sample. And let me tell you, Mark, when I was in that warehouse, it smelled so good. And yeah. I kept when we got to the big vats of chocolate, I just oh man, I just wanted to dip my finger you in it. In, I didn't, though. You find them in unlikely places. I was yeah. at a Walgreens downtown. Yeah, I found them at the checkout stand in Walgreens. Yeah, you'll find them at Albertsons, Fred yeah. Meyers, Winco, sure. and you know, and there's some regional distribution. They're best eaten with butter and sour cream. I like that. Do you best. like and a little yeah. bacon on a little top? Bacon on top. <laughs> mm.